At this point, we create our terrain. So next, what I want to do, it's maybe add additional elements. Sometimes when you work, it's like, um, let's add river or other effect in this case. And again, we could actually go inside the Photoshop, modify, and if you remember what we done with Photoshop, it is if for some reason I'm going here and it says, I want to extend a little bit, maybe like this and add element. And I'm, as long I'm going can save a same name. And in this case, it will be my outline map. Okay, let's save it this one. And at this point, it will map updated. So if you remember when we gone to the our file, after refresh, after every build. So let's go just refreshing. And it should, if it does not refresh, you can always click. Okay, let me be sure it's TFF. Yep. If we can go click and says refresh from the file. So this way you can see it's changed now. We have it all these elements, everything. Okay. So let's select our advanced pearl, pearl in ways we have our uh, map and we're going to our layout view at this point. And now I want to just click and create new layout. So I know in the same place and we'll select lines. And here's the things if we create from outside, it will break some of those elements. Okay, let's do this way. So right here, Oops, actually one thing, let me go back, new layout, lines, it will just draw line, like this. Okay, next we want to um, invert values. And actually, it's not necessary invert at this point, we can do this afterwards. We'll just use it break up, so it's look a little bit nicer. And let's go to reduce. Okay. Be something like this. Again, we do have it in a world machine. You have it now specific node for the reverse, but I want to show how you can combine with other elements. So and for example, when we're done with this, we're going to our nodes. Okay. And you notice right here, we have our layout generator. So at this point, we have our layout generator and we need to combine with our elements. But I, because the river or kind of simulation or other things, I'm not necessarily want to combine before. So what I'm going to do, it is um, going to our natural. We'll take another erosion. We'll connect this to the erosion. So overall, we'll have a nice look. Let's go inside the erosion. We'll have it channel it. We'll increase pace or time. Okay, let's go ahead preview. Okay, to the node. And now we want to combine those two together. Before we do this, We'll go inside the filter and we'll just select the inverter. So on this case, it is invert and you can see how it's all going. And we'll just use it simple combiner. We have our primary input and secondary. When we do any combiner, that is very important because in a combiner, we actually want to says subtract. And in this point, you can see where's the river going. So let's go ahead. Outreach. And it's kind of just increase overall. Okay, let's just add a little bit pop up higher so I can preview like right there. Okay, of course, we'll last all of our elements and let's lock preview on this. 
but for this one we need it again kind of trimmed down by using our clam knot. So with a clamp knot we actually can specify what we want it. So we can go all the way like maybe around here. We don't need it bottom because we need this over the river. So let's go okay. E this point. And now we can modify. And maybe it's add. We'll go to Yeah, I don't necessarily want to increase those elements on the side, but we don't have it very high. It's already low on the mountain. So overall we can increase height of our elements and then that will be bring down. So if we're going if we look right here, we're already on a very low level. So we actually want to kind of equalize everything. And to do this, we'll just select equalizer. You can see before and after it's quite a bit. So we don't need to, we just need to increase slightly this way. Reconnect. So in this case, we're preserving our map. But at the same time, so now if you going with a substract or um, any other areas, let's go just draw all of them. Can okay, screen will work very good with this one. You can see we increase, but we still have this on the middle cut off. Let's can select the minimum. And at some point, because we have a mountain, we have a kind of problem right there. Okay, and also same as in the root, you can do this. Um, you know what, let's go with minimum at this point. I think this one will work better. Okay, we'll go click OK. Let's um, click Preview and Generate. Okay, our pre-render completed. It took about 50 seconds. Okay, let's go click OK. And at this point, we have it right here with kind of river going, but how I said before, it is, you need to be careful because it does apply to all. We could create more steep river in, and it's by equalization and make just only cut one area, so we can do that. And see how that will work but at this point i think map already look quite a bit interesting so what i was meaning by equalization it's in our for example layout generator at this point we also can just go and okay let's go to edit our shape we'll just need to reduce our fallout distance maybe around this area okay let's also create yeah like this okay so by doing this then we're creating much sharper river which again you can see how it will cut off on a clamp right in this preview and then when we apply it we can apply a little bit more actually you know what let me do these things let's go to this inverter and we'll just disable for now let's go right here to our clamp and right this area will just subtract. Let's go click OK. On the clamp will just pop up a little bit higher. So we'll just subtract right there. But how I said, we're already on a bit low. 
so it's not necessarily subtract will work very well in this or we actually need to go and bring all map up and we can do this with a, um, for example arithmetic score with increasing just overall value for every element okay and right there we can also now that the one is will be fine choose right here we have it erosion okay equalization just a little bit up because we reduce and right here we have it our combiner with 100% subtract we don't need 100% let's maybe around this area okay so let's remove the inverter at this point and how say because we combine them together they're not necessarily will look very well um, blending let's re renew and show what I mean by that okay so what we look right here you can see how it's flattened out Okay, so if we look on some of this, and let me just adjust lighting. Okay, now we have this flat area that can represent river or whatever. In some cases, it's not bad because I know in some cases the water cannot flow, so you can create a very flat area for the water. So in this case, but if you still want to have a little bit better integration for this, then we need to put it another node and this is in natural we have it several ones we have it coastal erosion erosion and pitch so for this one actually we're going to use it coastal erosion and this is help us to little bit adjust this size so if you notice as we're going around did these uh, pop up a little bit on end and most of it, I'm looking just this area. Yeah, water. Um, let's click on show water level. Okay, let's cancel this one. So we can see where's our water. And we'll bring water level down to about right here where's the flat area. So in that case, when we start modifying, that will affect properly area. So we can increase a little bit pitch style. Um, inland and let's increase underwater smoothing okay we'll go preview and that is will should affect just this coastal area but by doing this we'll use some of the erosion on a smaller area so we need to almost create another erosion right there Okay, and um, okay, let's connect them together. Okay, again, we'll go channel. Increase rock hardness and reduce segment carry out. So this is will just help us uh, preview. We'll go render okay and at this point you can see we have it a little bit better blending on the edge so the ways our water river going okay, like right in these areas but again this is what I was saying if we have it before we apply erosion the because elements too close will have it close on the water flow in this area but overall we can see how it's applied and mountains look a little bit nicer okay let's disable our water not necessarily can I have water we can make this as a sand dunes or any other element but here we created path. Okay, let's overlook so what we've done so far. So we take our image from Photoshop 
with a very rough layout. We edit. Afterwards, we come and we says, you know what? Let's add some river flow or elements to our environment. So I give input. We control our basic shapes. Flatten, so we create a nice natural look. We add kind of path, can be a road, river, whatever you want it. We combine with them together, creating, applying some erosion on the edge by using coastal erosion and blending a little bit more with a normal erosion. Again, this one, if it's too um, much, we can reduce. So we don't need to have it that hard. Okay, but it will help kind of blending them together with this node. So let's go ahead and next we'll start actually extracting now information that we needed. So for example, the flow, where the plants can locate it, wetness and all other elements that we can use it in like Unreal or Unity game engine.